Hi everyone, especially my fellow RVers. Today our journey takes us to Winston-Salem, North Carolina from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Winston-Salem is an interesting place. Years ago we thought of Winston-Salem as being associated with the Reynolds Tobacco Company and the Winston and Salem cigarette brands. But today we find that Winston-Salem has a more interesting history. So before we get into that, let's roll that intro. Okay, history buffs, hang on. This is a story you've probably never heard. So while we're on our Interstate 40 journey to Salem Breeze RV Park, just south of Winston-Salem, let me tell you where it all began. You see, back in the mid-1700s, the Native Americans in the East carved a trail called the Warrior's Path from near Philadelphia to North Carolina. Gradually, as settlers began using that trail, they improved it so wagons could pass. Around 1750, this trail became known as the Great Wagon Road, and tens of thousands of German and Scotch-Irish immigrants made their way to the Piedmont area of North Carolina, utilizing the Great Wagon Road. Among those were 15 Moravian men who purchased a 99,000-acre tract of land where those 15 and other Moravians came to settle. In 1766, some of those ventured into the area now known as Old Salem, and we'll visit there during our short stay at Salem Breeze RV Park. The Salem Breeze RV Park is located at 2784 Hickory Tree Road, and it's a non-pretentious park with no amenities, but it does have a little over 20 really nice sites. The sites are graveled, level, and have full hookups. It's uh, very pretty in that area, surrounded by trees and luscious green grass. And I think uh, we were probably on site number 14, as directed by the water hookups, it's advisable to use a pressure regulator. Here we are, you can see our RV on site 14. Sheets is less than a mile away, along with Walgreens and McDonald's. Lowe's Foods is close as well as the Dollar General and several other stores. Now, Winston-Salem is known for its Moravian cookies. We headed to Old Salem, where we would meet our daughter Ashby and her daughter-in-law Cassidy. Ashby's husband was working a trade show in Winston-Salem that week. We decided to start at the Winkler's Bakery, which has been in business since 1807. While there, we also saw several others, like the Mishk House, which was built in 1771. It had an ample supply of firewood next door. And then we saw the G. Schroeder House, which was built in 1805. Perhaps the most interesting to us was the site of the original Krispy Kreme Donuts. Krispy Kreme was founded here by Vernon Rudolph in 1937 after he had purchased a yeast-raised recipe from a chef in New Orleans. It quickly grew in popularity in North Carolina and now has 500 locations in 41 states and 15 other countries. This is the one where Rene and I live, and we love to see that neon hot now sign indicating that the original glazed donuts are fresh out of the fryers. We just touched on a small part of this area of the Winston-Salem area, and it's a great place to visit. We also visited Mrs. Haynes' Moravian Cookie Bakery facilities, and they're not far from the campground. We arrived late in the afternoon, so all of the workers had left for the day. Eva Haynes founded this business in 1960, but her mother actually started making the cookies in the 1920s. They now produce more than 10 million cookies each year and serve over 90,000 mail order customers per, per year. We didn't get to visit the largest producer of Moravian cookies uh, while we were there in Winston-Salem. Dewey's Bakery opened in 1930, and in addition to cookies, they are also famous for their sugar cakes. They produce 15 to 20 million cases of baked goods annually. Our stop in Winston-Salem would bring our planned 1,500-mile trip to an abrupt end. Rene picked up a bad stomach bug somewhere along the way, and we had to head home. Three days later, after we got home, I got it. It was bad for both of us, and we were sick for a week. However, we're getting ready for our last trip of the summer, 
as I speak. Coming up, we'll have a video about our almost 50 years of owning RVs. I think that you'll enjoy that one. And after that, we're heading to the giant Car Lake Reservoir in the northern part of North Carolina, which has 800 miles of shoreline. And we're going to visit two different types of campgrounds there. Well, I think that'll do it for this video. If you learned something that you didn't know before, please give it a thumbs up. And I ask you, please consider subscribing. Share this video with your RV friends. So, until the next time, may the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.